all right welcome to today's tutorial so as i said i will be teaching um food packaging i don't know the name to call the bag but it's a bag that we are making today so i will be using our normal brown paper and of course our pvc sheets we'll be using just 20 small size i'm going to be uh, teaching us today so you can adjust the size to whatever you want okay just follow the process so now the first thing we need to do is to get the size okay and um i will be starting with the pvc sheets let me set this aside starting with the pvc sheets i i need to score at um i i did not the the thing is I, i'm trying to i'm still trying to figure out the the size to do that will not warrant so much stress and all okay so to start i'm going to be scoring at um the bag is going to be 10 inches long okay and here we have eight and two eighths of an inch so this on this side is 10 inches okay so i'll just score we have 10 inches i'll score 10 inches and cut this out it's a step by step thing line this up properly as straight as possible and trim this off okay so here we have we have 10 inches here now okay so now on that 10 inches side i'm going to score at two inches that's all that's all for the scoring on the 10 inches and then i'm rotate this and then score at half an inch half an inch then two and half inches then i'll add four inches this two and a half which will give me six and half inches all the way down okay and then i will also score at five and half uh not 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 really scoring per se no no need to score that actually so i'm going to trim this remaining piece here of all i need is just six and a half inches okay so now something that i need to inform you is that when you are cutting your pvc sheet be very careful for it not to move there is tendency for it to move and then you miss the cutting okay hold your ruler properly in place while cutting your pvc sheet it's very slip it's not very slippery but it's slippery and you, you may miss the cutting so just be careful when cutting that okay so this is it this is what we have okay now i'm going to set this aside and then i'll bring the brown paper back in okay and then uh Oh, the 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 height of the bag is 10 inches it's not 10 it's 8 inches actually but i'm making it 10 inches you see why so i'll score 10 inches from here 10 inches and then cut off this other part this excess it's not needed is our transparent food package okay then now on the 10 inches side i'm going to score two inches that's all then turn it and score at one inch one then at i'll add two inches to the one is making three inches and i'll add four to the three inches making seven so, so i'm going to trim this extra one out the size we need is seven inches by ten inches 
ओके ओके ऑल राइट सो नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज let me bring this in okay fold and crease the score lines score line is difficult to see you oh. hey, hey. <laughs> oh boy it's difficult i need to score that again yeah i have to score it again two inches i didn't I, i think i didn't score it well score it properly so it to be visible mm -hmm, yeah more like it sorry okay so just fold and crease now as when i'm going to before i crease it this fold line here i'll make sure it's lined with this one here okay that is to tell you that it's on the same uh line it's straight that's so that it's your folding is straight if not to be bent so okay so here we are in this fold line i didn't score these things well i don't know i didn't score it well it's not um it's not visible enough so i'll bring it back it's just half an inch and two and half inches half an inch all the way down then two and half okay better Okay, so please when you are scoring your pvc make sure that you you are uh, apply enough pressure this is all i'll do fold and decrease same thing on this score line here as well okay all right so now the next thing that we're going to do I'll lay this back down and release the fold a little make it easy to work with the fold is already there okay so it's not paper that once you stretch it out to start having issues no so what i'm going to do is to this small piece here i'm going to remove it completely including the the fold lines then i will remove just this fold line here from where this score line started down Like so. Okay. Okay. So, uh, sorry about that. My sister came to came to ask me something. So, I remove this now. Next thing is remove this core line here. okay so this is it okay i did not remove this properly i don't know if you can see it i don't know if you can see it how to trim that again it's, it's 
it's not straight you did not remove well thank god that it's it's excess that i didn't remove more like it oh my. so now we have something like this and this going in and this going this way okay so now we'll bring this and um also fold fold and crease this one is paper so it will it will go to work well yeah this and then fold this as well and crease then this lower one lie down making sure that this score line and this one they align holding it down firmly then i will crease okay now just where i cut the pvc sheet same way i will cut this but if you notice this one has one inch while pvc has half an inch okay there is use you understand why as we proceed so for this brown uh paper side i am going to remove only this fold line i'm not removing this like so so this is what we are going to have this edge will line up to this edge like so okay like so okay so that's why uh, okay i will have to just remove just this fold line here but we are not removing this completely you know just the fold line Just the fold line. Okay, so now let's bring in our double sided tip. You know, yesterday I used um, half an inch, I mean, quarter, yes, half an inch. But this one I'll be using one inch okay and then for this one this is the inside part this is the outside part so on the inside part i'm going to apply my pvc all the way let's confirm first like so and this will come like this okay okay yeah so all the way down okay so now let me tell you i have never made this type of bag before this is my first time of doing it one of you sent me the picture that if I could make it, and I said, yes, I can. And this is my first attempt. So as you notice, I'm um, like, uh, you know, <laughs> looking at it and trying to figure what next to do. When you have made boxes for a long time, it will get to a point where any box you see, you'll be able to make it. You'll be able to picture things and just make them. Okay? becomes easy 
so now i'll lay this down flat and remove this backing tape okay i'm supposed to line this over but i need to see what i'm doing okay so i'll just flip the two this way so this is not on this side and then it's not a half inch it's the four inches side okay then line it up this part will be lined to this core line make sure that your hand is as straight as possible I see the way I'm doing it gently. Good. So, and then you crease to remove all the bubble that is trapped. As much bubble as possible. Remove it, crease properly to remove all the bubble. down as well so now we have one piece okay so now the next thing that we are going to do is to apply uh, a double sided tape on this half an inch on the outside part so I'll be bringing my half an inch tape and then just carefully line it So, so, I'm trim this off. I'm not going to throw this away. It is still useful. In fact, very, very useful. But for another work anyway, then I'll crease this down okay then peel this off and um okay yeah there's a little tape coming out so i'll just fold it over so that i have a smooth the i'm not feeling any tape coming out all right so i'll just fold let me fold this and crease again okay Fold this, this is the tape, and then bring this to meet it and line it up. Please do it very carefully, as careful as you can. Okay. And then press down. So, our bag is coming into shape. So, I'll fold this down and crease. Hmm, the piercing was too much. <laughs> Let me release it a little. Okay, yeah. More like it. Okay, so you can see our bag is coming into shape, right? Mm please this also all right more like it so now the next thing that we are going to do is to raise this the bottom part okay fold this in fold this in fold this in and then use this to seal it okay so now to get that uh, okay, this is the one we're using to close it. Okay, so now for this, let's put our double sided tape. You can use your PVC glue, but ah, no, for paper, this paper is too soft for PVC glue. It will soak it and squeeze it, and we don't want to have that effect for your bag. Okay, so. Remember that small double side I said for was one of the projects where I have to use it now. So there it is. And then trim this 
off. I'm still going to use this. I'll push these ones in a little and then apply my tape here. It's not, it, it didn't get to the fold line. You can see, right? There's a little space there so that you don't have a sticky inside part of the bag. So there's no sticky stuff. If not, it could stick. Okay. Then turn it the other way. This longer part also, we're going to apply our double-sided tape. Okay, I'm just just cut a, a big piece. This is how I I cut it into smaller piece. I'll set this aside and cut this again into the half an inch size because the tape is two inches size okay okay so now on this other piece i'll just apply my tape like so Trim off the excess just the way I did this. That's why I'm doing this the other larger piece as well. Okay, so I'll then crease this. I'll crease and then peel the backing tape off. Okay, this one is holding on to it. <laughs> I need to raise this up, okay, because that's what is going to hold. Well, as I'm only going to make sure that this, okay, there's tape coming out here. This edge and this edge line up, and this edge and this edge line up. Like so, carefully, okay? And like so. I can just put my hand inside and lay this flat carefully so it doesn't fold. All right. Now to finish it up. So what am I going to put inside this my food bag? I have lemon with me here. Yeah. <laughs> of all, of all food, it's lemon. Oh my. Okay, turn this and carefully fold it down, lining up there. Now, in, I need something long. Let me use my ruler, okay, to now press down. And then, so my hand can go in anyway, yeah, there. So I'll just press down on the, the part that has double-sided tape okay just press down properly and then we have our transparent food bag so I said I have lemon yeah this lemon is quite big anyway so <laughs> is it, I saw it in the market I'm like wow this lemon is large so there you go and all you have to after put what I want to put inside, you just press the top, just like that. These two fold here, okay? Just bring them together like that, and the same thing on this side, and then you fold, guide it down 
guide it down and we fold over like so. Ta-da! Then you you have your uh, your your sticker to use to seal this place. Okay, just print your sticker and then seal here, and you are good to go. So that is how to make this bag. So thank you, and see you in the next tutorial.